last season when you, you began in, in Saginaw, and obviously, you know, you had high hopes for yourself. How difficult was it when they told you you were going to go up to Sioux, Michigan to play your hockey and get a little more development? I mean, it was a bit of a change for me. I've always kind of, you know, been the number one guy on any team I've been on, so it was a bit of a change uh, first off, but... I mean, uh, I went up there and I got a lot of games, I got a lot of shots, so it was uh, you know, definitely good for my improvement. So uh, in the end, I definitely think it, it worked out for the best for myself. And you get to the national semifinal tournament where you played your head off. Take us back to the game against Wellington that went to quadruple overtime. I know you didn't win it, but it might have been the best game you ever played. Uh, yeah, that was definitely a, a nuts game. I mean, uh, I had a lot of shots. I had like 90-something shots throughout the, the seven periods that we played. So it was, uh, it was a fun game to be in. I mean, our team played really well. And uh, you know, it, was, uh, it was too bad we didn't come out on top of that game. But it was definitely a fun tournament and a fun game to play in. And it allowed you the foundation and develop what you needed this year to come around and take over the top job. But it was a work in progress in Saginaw this year, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, first off, it was me and Galanski, you know, fighting for the number one spot. And, uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to get a lot of games when he was there. And, I mean, halfway through the year, we brought in a new coach and we brought in another goalie, Clint Windsor. And, mm -hmm. you know, we, we had to battle for the number one spot again. And, again, I was fortunate to... Uh, you know, you know, to win that battle and, and you know, have a lot of games down the stretch and, and through the playoffs. That other coach is a seasoned guy in Greg Gilbert. Just what did he mean to the hockey club? Because it seemed all of a sudden you went from the basement up into a contending club. Yeah, I mean, uh, ever since he stepped in, he completely, you know, it's safe to say he definitely, you know, changed our entire season around. He, uh, he made a, a huge difference. You know, he brought in some new players as well. And, and to be honest, I think uh, without him, we would definitely wouldn't have uh, had the playoff run we did. I mean, he... He came in, has brought a whole sense of professionalism to our team and you know, made our team a lot tighter in the dressing room. What happened in the postseason for you? Did a light go on? Was this just a natural progression that saw you really, really get good? I mean, for me personally, nothing changed. I just uh, you know, kept doing the same thing before every game, the same preparation. And uh, I don't know, Gibbo kind of leaned on me with, uh, with about a month left in the season. And... Uh, you know, that kind of gave me a little bit of confidence and gave me the ability to play the way I did in the playoffs. Your mom might be your biggest fan, and she said that game five in London and the 46 saves, even though you lost it in overtime, it might have been the best game you ever played. Yeah, I'd probably have to agree with that. I mean, uh, she, she reminds me a little bit of, of Holtby's mom up in the stands, you know, going crazy during the games. But, uh, yeah, that game in London, it was a good game. It was uh, too bad we didn't come out on top on, on that one. But, uh, you know, I played, I played uh, you know, probably one of my better games of the year, and our team played pretty well in front of me. So it was... Uh, it was definitely a good hockey game, but one I wanted, would have liked to uh, you know, come out on top on. Jake, you've got so much God-given skill, but you've got a couple of goalie coaches. Tell me about the balance and what you take from both those guys. Um, yeah, I'm working with uh, Piero Greco here in Toronto and then uh, Terry Barbeau down in Saginaw. So it's, uh, it's been a good combination. I think Piero has uh, pretty much taught me everything I know from when I, when I started in the pipes. And then you know, Terry's been good for down in Saginaw. I think having two goalie coaches, you definitely don't want to, you know, them trying to, trying to change your technique or trying to give you mixed... Uh, you know, mixed things, but uh, he's definitely been good. Just, you know, Terry has just teaching me little things off the ice. And, and then Piero, like I said, he's pretty much taught me everything I know. And you get a, go, I get a chance to go to Calgary this summer. Now you're on the national junior team radar. How important is that to your development? How exciting is that? Yeah, it was definitely exciting. I mean, when I got the invitation, I was, uh, you know, definitely excited to, to take part in that camp. And, uh, yeah, I'm definitely just looking forward to uh, kind of get my feet wet in the Hockey Canada camp. Have you talked to the Leafs yet in the interview department? Uh, yeah, I talked to them uh, yesterday, actually. Okay, so cool. It was good. Yeah, it was nice to meet everybody from the Leafs. And, uh, yeah, definitely a good group of guys. And you get a chance to uh, show off a little bit for them next week. Uh, you looking forward to that? Yeah, I'm uh, going down there on Sunday to Masquerade Center to, you know, meet with the guys again and probably, I think, go through some fitness testing. So I'm, uh, I'm excited to... You know, meet, meet the guys and, you know, talk to everybody in the Leafs organization and uh, it'll definitely be a good opportunity.